we think this potentially can be a multi-billion dollar solution to a multi-billion dollar problem. It's called VT Exacap Tube Model 1. VT Exacap Tube Tube Model 1. So it's, it stands for Vehicular Tailpipe Exhaust Observer and Capture Tube Model 1. The idea is I'm trying to capture the exhaust, mm -hmm. right? So I'm trying to filter it and I'm trying to absorb the emissions from the exhaust itself to make it better for the environment. But not only that, inside a the device there is actually a fan that actually tugs on the exhaust. So by tugging on the exhaust, it actually relieves the pressure from the engine and makes the smoke less contaminant for the environment and it saves the customer on fuel. Smoke normally would come out from the tailpipe and it just go up in the atmosphere. So this, it comes inside the device and it basically goes through a filtration process and then an absorption process. The filtration process is to remove what you call soot or the black components in it and then the absorption process is, what is a reaction. It goes through different reactions in order to remove the carbon dioxide. Break it down. Break it down. Carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide particularly among some other gases. But the idea is they want to reduce at least 50% to 90% of that emissions. And then the final exhaust that comes out on the two side is free from carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and soot. That's the idea. So you filter the exhaust and you're removing carbon dioxide. So this is actually a world's first invented right here in Jamaica. It's a team. It's a, the team is Consolidated Environment Research Laboratory and uh, I'm the one that put in the work in bringing it to this extent and I'm and I pitch with a team that basically help us to design how it would look. So this is that give you an idea of how the product would look. The maintain the idea is you have a product that is oh, easily maintained. Oh, oh, it's light. It's actually entirely plastic. And the components inside of it are made from used plastics. Okay. Particularly the filter. The filter is made from um, everyday bottles, grind it down and used to make what you call a sheet and the sheet is rolled into a filter and sandwiched in between um, different absorption materials. So the components inside are entirely reusable plastics. There is a, there's a filter right here and then there is reaction chambers right here. So the idea is as you are driving, exhaust comes in through the filter and it goes into the different reaction chambers. And the reaction chambers basically every couple months there's a solution that you need to tap up. So you pull it, throw in a solution, close it. There will be a maintenance panel right here that you easily pull to change the cart to change the filter cartridges. And that's pretty much it. Person don't want to do anything else. Yeah, and when we'll basically have a bypass um, on this that whenever you feel necessary, mm -hmm. you can just easily open that bypass and it will just bypass this and just exhaust just come out. So from a maintenance point of view, mm -hmm. it has to be maintenance ready. That's what customers want. They do not want to bring it to the mechanic. They do not want it to be expensive. And they do not want, like, every month the mafia do something to it. They want do something to it every like two years. So that's pretty much what customers want. So that's where we are. How did this all begin? All right, so it actually came with the idea in 2006 when I was in high school. Um, I was basically sitting, that? that's Inswood High School. Okay. Inswood High School, right. So I was sitting in the, in the class and the teacher was teaching about um, the environment and effects and impacts on the environment with climate change. At the time, the, 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 the word wasn't climate change at the time, it was global warming. So I asked the question, um, why why we don't just capture the exhaust from the tailpipe and teacher yes. said, well, no one has done it yet. And that inspired me to study chemistry. So I did a degree in chemistry at the University of the West Indies. Mm -hmm. And it further inspired me to get a postgraduate degree in the um, environment management program mm -hmm. and the same University of the West Indies. And basically it has just propelled me to, to do the necessary research to investigate how can I solve this problem and over a course of four years. So I've been designing this from 2016 okay. and it's just last year I 
came to this design and I'm okay this is the minimum persons would buy this in we surveyed the market persons responded they would actually buy this but okay for the prototypes that we're selling this year um, we we basically looking beta testers to give away 70 free units Free, free. free, right. So basically we give persons the device, use it, give us a feedback. Take that feedback, make some modification, give you the device again. So if persons are interested, they basically contact me and I will give them a device. We we'll let them sign a disclaimer and you basically go through the process of giving us feedback. And when it's finally ready for rollout overall, they will be the first ones to get one of those devices. We think this potentially can be a multi-billion dollar solution to a multi-billion dollar problem because we find some way to filter the exhaust, find some way to, ab to put it through absorption to reduce the carbon dioxide and we know that carbon dioxide is one of the main um, components in, in climate change. Jamaica, like most countries, are, are basically in line of the direct hit from climate change. If we don't do something now about the problems hitting us now, not necessarily just waiting on new alternative energies. New alternative energies will come mainstream by 2050. But effects are now. What we're going to do about 1 billion vehicles affecting the world now? That's my take on it. So I, my take on it, we need to come up with solutions that captures the problem. That's carbon dioxide emissions from vehicles. That's just one. You have carbon dioxide emissions among other gases from all kinds of in, in industries, but the vehicle particularly contributes 25%, 25% of emissions. So my take was to turn this not necessarily in just an environment saving device, but how can this benefit the driver of the vehicle. So the concept I came with, this, this device will save the driver and fuel around 30 percent of fuels normally lost in the smoke every time you drive and you see some puff of black smoke that's fuel that's money going out of the tailpipe okay. so we save on that okay. that's one and then this device also i'm hoping if i have it my way there will be an app that comes with this, this device that basically tracks the performance of your engine and the, the exhaust composition of the of, of of the exhaust that's basically telling you how well you are burning fuel so there will be like a small device inside and it's basically sending signals to your phone and you can read it from that app so that's pretty much where I'm planning to take it